What is going on Utu, Dr. Iway here. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to add mods to Civilization 7. So I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't know how anyone would play this game without mods. It's not so much that the mods are really changing the way that the game plays. Mainly the mods is to fix the uh, UI. You know, I, I really like Civ. It's a game that lets you sit back challenges your brain but sometimes i feel like you have to have a little bit too much in your head and the main mod i think that's been needed is the map tax they should already really have it in the game but for whatever reason they don't but you know the modding community on this game is pretty good about adding quality of life changes for when um who is it for for axis doesn't i guess do their job so without further ado let's get into um how to add mod so if you just want to see like where the mods are at, you can go to additional content, um, believe add-ons. Now my screen is going to look very different from how your screen is because I have a mod that adjusts this screen. Um, but I'll basically show you where to go to get the mods, how to install them step by step, and then how to activate them. Okay. So like for this, the map tag mod just came out yesterday. I haven't had a chance to put it on here, so I'm gonna put it on here now. And I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to explain this to you guys. So what you wanna do, let me get on my other screen here. What you wanna do is pull up where you can find the mods at. I think that um, the main website is this uh, Civ Fanatics is where the actual mods is that but i actually found this reddit post that and i've vetted most of these mods out in fact i have quite a few of them there's this reddit post and i'll post the link uh to to this in the description of the video has a lot of the good uh, mods um i kind of brought them all together but you can kind of read this and they've been updated since you know the uh, this guy posted it in here like city hall mod is good simple ui adjustments the policy yields preview is really good i like the top panel enhanced town like a lot of these mods are like super legit I'm, i almost have all of these top 10 on there most of them at least i have them but as far as uh the the new mod this is like the website that that has like the mods on it so you can go to the cf7 here i'll post the link to this as well you can go to downloads and i because it's new it kind of pops up here you can uh this is the the detail map tax and it's still in beta form so there's still some stuff that he wants to um, improve so you will have to re-download this probably a couple of times but whatever but another way you can do is you can just search and like map tax boom search okay CF7, you know, you can read whatever. He says if there's any issues, you can put in a discussion thread. Boom. So then uh, you press download. Okay, good. So now you have the the, the file. And um, now you have to add it to um, the mod folder for CF. And now I have mine bookmarked, but let's say you didn't because for the first time you probably want, you won't. So you can go to like, like your PC, Windows, and then you want to go to users, whatever user that you are. Uh, click that, whatever user you are, and you want to go to app data, local. And then this will be all the games that you have. I have quite a few. Um, and then you want to go down to uh, Firaxis games. And then if you have more than one sieve, obviously sieve seven. And then here's the folder right here, mods. And then all of your mods pop up here. So all you have to do is add that um, folder, just basically drag that folder into here. So I'm gonna go to uh, my downloads. See, I got a whole bunch of that stuff. And then detail map tax. I'm gonna go over to mods, boom, that's there. And then you want to uh, click that and then it's a zip file right now. Just extract all. And because you already got it in the right folder, you can just extract. 
But if you didn't, you can like browse and get to it the same way I just did. Extract. Okay, boom. And then I just delete the uh, original zip file. So now it's in there. Now, normally you shouldn't probably have the game open when you do this, but whatever I did. So now I'm going to load it, load her back up. And then the mod um, should be in there. And uh, I can check for that. Add-ons. And I'm looking for map text. Yep, detail map text. Boom, we're good to go. Bow. And then let me just load in again so you can see what this looks like. This is my favorite character. I, I love her. I mean, me personally as a science, science and math guy, actuarial science degree, th this chick is it. And she's actually good in the game, which I like too. Um, and the reason why these map tags are so important is that this game has buildings and you have to overbuild, you know, so it sometimes gets very tricky to keep up with everything, especially when you eat and sending out missionaries, you got combat going on and it can be very easy to place a building down. Now that's permanent. You made a mistake, but if you had that map tag, you know, you kind of can plan out without having to have everything in your head. Okay. Yeah. We don't care narrator. Come on. Now I haven't seen this, but I just want to, I'm curious to see like exactly what it looks like. Okay, let's see. Map tags. Okay, uh, okay there, there they are. Oh, this looks clean. Okay, so you can do improvements and stuff. And this is in, when I did read a little bit, this is in beta form. So there's still a lot of stuff that it doesn't do. It might not show the correct yields. That's not even an important part. You know, the, the main part is that I just realized that I don't have to memorize that, yes, I wanted this particular building here. So in this case, like, okay, there's, uh, you know, two river tiles here. Maybe I want to have like a bath or something. The bath will probably have to be on the river, but let's say, I don't know, uh, we throw the garden up there, whatever. Boom. Plus four. You know, and then, and that doesn't even, the plus, that don't even matter. Like, it does, but it doesn't. The main thing is that at least you can visualize, like, how you want to build out your city. Okay, this is a plus one adjacency. Let me throw up that library there. You know, plus three is actually uh, correct. Okay, let's, this should be, like, this is a good mountain spot. I want to throw up a, uh, Happiness building. Let me find happiness buildings. Throw up a villa. Boom. Plus five. And then I want to also... I wonder if you can throw up two buildings once in there. Oh, yeah. You can. Boom. So that's kind of like a good way of, of, of doing it. Because otherwise, I mean, it gets... Sometimes you got so many buildings. You got so many cities going on. You just can't really, you know keep it all in your head. I mean, I, I was making my own map text like straight up. I had hexagon. I was writing on a hexagon piece of paper, like where I was putting everything like, cause, cause it gets, it gets nutty, especially once you start overbuilding. but this is how you do it. It looks clean. I don't even care if the numbers aren't correct right now. The important part is like, I have a picture saying, yeah, yeah, I need to build this here. Boom. That's, that's basically the main part. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you enjoy. Like and subscribe only if you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, folks.